Today on ICANN's Armory, checking your body cords with an ohmmeter. Hey everyone, Sam Signorelli here. Um, this is a video I didn't realize I hadn't made. Uh, I did a video a while back on how to use an ohmmeter to check your lame. I did not realize I hadn't done one for body cords. I thought I had, didn't see it in there, so let's do it. This is a response to a guy on Reddit who was asking how you check your cords. So I have a net paint and a foil cord and an ohmmeter. And the trick is to how to do the tests. We only have two hands because you kind of need three or four sometimes. But let's go for cords first. There are three lines of cable in the body cord. And as you all know, they're labeled A, B, and C, okay? That's not, you don't need to know which A, which A, B, and C for the testing here. But you know, there are three lines. Each of them is allowed one ohm of resistance to electrical flow. Um, if you're going to an ROC or a NAC or some, even nationals, depending on the armor, depending on the head tech rather, they may allow more than one. Uh, we've had events where they've allowed up to five ohms because the system will fire up to 250 even cumulatively through the system. Um, but one's a standard. Uh, it's gonna be turned on the head tech. Just aim for one, make it safe. Uh, if you're doing an FIA event, it's gonna be one, because we're gonna hew to the rules on that one. So let me reset the camera, and I'll show you how to test it with an ohmmeter. Stand by. Okay, so you have an ohmmeter set up here. We got the leads, it's turned on, it's been zeroed out. If I short the leads together, you'll see we have continuity light comes on, and the meter's down. And then we have the cord. Now you can hold it this way, by fingers, but then you have to wobble back and forth. If you're trying to hold the other end, it's kind of hot and hard. So use an alligator clip. I'm gonna go on the seal on this. And that way, oop, missed it, hang on. There you go. Alligator clip is now holding the lead on. Other side, same thing. To seal line. You see got continuity. Now I've got continuity, and now I can test it by virtue of holding it, wiggling this back and forth, and do a test box like that. If there's a break in circuit, it would show, but the meter would the continuity would go off and the meter would flicker. Other side. There you go. And you do the same thing for all three lines. On a foil cord, Again, same thing. Let's go with the, let's go with the uh, B line on this one. I should go on the A line on this. I'm, my bad. So A line. Now this one, because the A line is an alligator clip, you can just come right onto it. Bam. And again, wiggle check. Nothing there. Nothing there. And obviously, on the other side, the uh, this is this is the B pin. That's the C pin. That's how you could use a couple alligator clips and an ohmmeter to check the continuity and the resistance on your body cords. Happy armoring.